Welcome back to AeroTalks. Good to be here. We are jumping straight into one of the uh, most critical defense projects in Europe right now. And one of the most unstable. Exactly. The Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, between France, Germany, and Spain. Today, we're really digging into how Berlin is reacting to all the friction. And our source for this is fantastic. It's an interview with Germany's new Air Force Chief, Lieutenant General Holger Neumann, in Der Spiegel. Right. He laid out a pretty clear vision, which brings us to the core question. What's more important, the next generation fighter jet itself, or the uh, digital network that ties everything together? Neumann is basically signaling that Berlin is ready to consider alternatives. Okay, so let's unpack FCAS for a second, because it's more than just a jet, isn't it? Oh, much more. It's a system of systems. You have to think of it in three main pillars. Right. So you've got the new generation fighter, the NGF. That's the part led by Dassault in France. And that's the most politically sensitive element, by far. Then you have the remote carriers, the drones. And finally, the combat cloud, the digital brain, so to speak. And this is where Neumann's focus is, right? On the cloud. Absolutely. He made it crystal clear. The decisive feature for the future of the Luftwaffe is the combat cloud. That's the digital architecture connecting crude jets, drones, sensors, weapons, all in real time. So this is about sensor fusion and controlling swarms of drones. Precisely. And he basically said this networking component is going ahead no matter what happens with the Joint Fighter Program. The network is the real weapon system here. I see the logic, but let me play devil's advocate. If the NGF project collapses, and Germany focuses only on the architecture, don't they risk being left without an actual next-gen plane? Hmm. I mean, they can't rely just on the F-35A, can they? That's arriving in 2026, mainly for the NATO nuclear sharing role. That's the tension, you're right. But Neumann's comments suggest they're being very pragmatic about this. He didn't just leave it there. He pointed to alternatives. Such as? He specifically mentioned the UK-Italy-Japan program, GCK. Interesting. So they're keeping their options open for the hardware. Exactly. They seem willing to assess all pads to get a 6th gen airframe, but the development of their own combat cloud architecture, that's non-negotiable. So it's a fundamental shift in strategy. It's about command and control first and the vehicle second. It seems so. And it goes beyond just the fighter. Newman also talked about other modernization efforts that fit into this picture. Like the Taurus cruise missile. Right. He mentioned modernizing the current Taurus, planning for the next gen Taurus Neo, and even looking at the Tomahawk as a sort of bridging capability. And all of those systems need to plug into that same digital ecosystem to be effective. That's the point. The combat cloud is what makes those long-range deterrents work. It doesn't really matter which specific fighter launches them, as long as the data network is robust. And the political clock is ticking on all this. It is. There's a huge amount of pressure. France and Germany have told the manufacturers they have until mid-December 2025 to figure out a path forward for the main program. So if we were to synthesize all this for you, the listener, the real story is that Germany is starting to see a fighter jet less as a weapon and more as a uh, sensor node in a giant digital network. Yes. The long-term priority is shifting. It's moving away from building the most advanced plane and toward owning the most effective integrated digital architecture. That's a huge paradigm shift. It is. And it leaves us with a really powerful question for the future, I think. If this digital architecture becomes the true core of military power, are we going to see future alliances defined less by who shares hardware and more by who shares a compatible digital operating system? Thank you for listening. We will see you in the next episode.